Hello guys, Merlin here. And before we get started, I want to give a thanks to my newest subscriber, 1337420. And again, I want to thank you for subscribing on with James Knight. And let's get into it. Today we're going to be doing a deck I've been trying to edit since the release of Throne of Eldraine. And that's going to be my speed burn deck. And as you can see from the, sti or, yeah, from the statistics here, it runs more on the like two drop side, but partially on the three. So we have four spitters, four shock, four electrostatic field, four jazz greeting, four lava coil, two shock light of flame, two light of the stage, three precision bolt, two risk factor, four for the critics, three slaying fire, one jav venerated fire mage. Three electro dominance and twenty mountain. With that being said, let's jump into it. So we're gonna switch out is it storm control, speed burn. So you guys can always double click on that when I'm stuck there. Now I've designed this deck to focus more on you know quick, fast, and in a hurry damage. Before my opponent can get their feet under them, I do my best to either A control the board state or just full-on whale on them let's see we have slaying fire risk factor jazz greeting electrostatic field yep okay got a swamp oh let's see one of the vampire dots okay past turn so i'm gonna kill that probably with my jazz fire or jazz greeting I don't really want to waste a good fire on week 1-1, one, one, but still. If I play a creature, I know exactly what's going to happen. I would do... Ooh, Slank Fire is big. Okay, so they're going to take a card from my hand. It's probably going to be Jaya. Or my Jaya's Greeting. Oh, my Risk Factor. Okay, my turn. And we're going to Jay's Greeting. And we're going to look our way right into the Precision Bolt, which I don't want right now. Okay, if I don't face any more of those bits, I'll be good. Okay, the game beats opponent's upkeep. If that player has one or two cards in their hand, they take two damage. He's going to force me to discard. Perish the thought. And you can take my jail. Alright, mountain. Left set field. And at this point, I hit my curve. As long as I have three mana, I am set. So that's probably my sweet spot. Okay, he draws a card. And loses one life. A mind is a terrific thing to waste. Okay, so how much are you gonna have? Ah! If I discarded, I meant to discard my land. Oh well. Okay, land drawn. And we're gonna blow him up. Since, nicely enough, since three red was paid for it, he takes four damage instead. I can quite happily take that. Each opponent has to take a card from my hand, should pick a land. Okay, so that has death touch. I want to block that. And no box. Go ahead. Now, the thing with Davriel is, I need to eliminate him quick, fast, and in a hurry, just because... No. He's got one token left for his discard. Struggling. Good. Okay, so this has to burn it to the creature. And then I get to surprise. We're actually going to risk back. And we're going to get rid of Jaya's breeding. Because either way, my opponent's taking one point of damage. And he, okay, take five points. Arnold. 
took the one point off from Electrostat Field. And took the four. Okay. So he's taking five points of damage. I can live with that. As our sickness deck is based around quick, fast, and hurry damage. I'm at 16. He's at 10. So you can see definitely the difference. We're going to block that. I'll take one point. And then I'll take two more damage from Gavriel. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, not really. And he's going to take four points of damage to the face. Boom. And boom. Cast. The uh, thing I love about this is, as you can see, I mean, he's got a dominant port state. He's doing a total of three damage a turn. Block there. No surprise, he's not pumping his All I've left Yurik you there. Is okay. So this is where I'm going to run into a little bit of a problem. I haven't quite balanced that land to instant speed kind of ratio. So if I start drawing pockets of land, that's what I run into my problem. All right, I'm gonna take two points of damage to Gavriel. Ugh, what a whiner. That'll work. Now, what I really would have liked to see is seen at least two of my electric static fields, but but I digress. My two ends. So I've got about two turns of life left in me, possibly a third, depending. I'm kind of interested in the fact that I'm not seeing a lot of creatures from him. Like, there, I know there's black cards out there that, can you know, shit ton of death touch, destruction, uh, like murder. Living in a monastery right, full of fire so do this. <laughs> it's awesome. Come on. Shut up the twos. There we go. Our People little ones, I should say. Great. All out attack on him. And maybe he's just drawing into land. So instead of me having a land pocket problem, he's having a land pocket problem. Yep, there we go. Okay. So, as you see, ran on five land. Didn't run, like, ideally. But at the same time, didn't do bad either. So let's take a quick look at that. Now, I was told that if you're running a mono color, the ideal mana per, or well, mana amount is about 20. 18 to 20. So I'm running a single color. I'm running a lot of one drop, two drop. Um, but my mana curve maxes out to three, as you can see in the little displayer here. And then after that, I have two for the five drop. So, and my deck average is 2.3, because you know it's. Halfway in between. But as you can see, the deck was able to hold its own. I was able to kill off most of his creatures except for those last two. And then I just kind of used the static field as a block. Never block the death touch. When you're facing a black deck, never block the death touch. So, let's go again. Now, what I like about this deck is I like the uh, slaying fire. If I pay three red mana for it, it does four damage instead of three. I also have precision bolts. I have shocks. I have risk factor. I have lava coil. Uh, light up the stage is one of my favorites. Okay, so keep this hand. Everything in it can be pretty much worked around. And there's my mana. And I'm facing a at least red death. It might be a red. Okay, gruel death. Okay. And I can't burn her. Okay. Okay, so that champ is gonna bug me. Okay, so he's just, I'm gonna have to get rid of him quick, fast, and in a hurry. Um. Actually, we're gonna lob 12 things. 
sort of his mana dorks a little bit. When you're facing a red green deck, always kill the mana dorks. Because now he's gonna be forced to rely more on his land versus his mana producing creatures. Okay, and now we have Paradise Druid and Wildwood Trickster. Okay. Uh I don't want to play light at the stage. Wildwood needs to go away. Perfect. Okay. So we're gonna shock Wildwood Trickster. We're going to Hmm. We're gonna precision bolt that. Now ideally I would not waste three damage on a two drop or two damage, but still at the same time. I really, 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 really don't want to get burnt. Yeah. So this is a gruel burn deck. Okay, so we're gonna drop this. We're gonna use for the critics. We're gonna burn that off. Static field's gonna damage him. If I can kind of stave off the amount of damage I'm taking. Oh dear. That is a big one. Rule spell break. Now ideally in this situation, all I can kind of do is just kind of stave off as much damage as humanly possible. While also dealing with the issue. So we're gonna light up the stage. That stage is kind of much Okay. Play that. And we're gonna drop Chandra. Found a bunch of new burn spells to try on you. And you guys out. are great. And we're gonna concede this one because yeah, it's just not going anywhere good. But that gives me six mana toward our, towards my quest there. Okay, let's do one more. So, ideally we've learned that Gruul Riot can kick my ass, and does kick my ass. We've learned that I'm a little bit faster than the just mono black. Okay, so let's take a look here. We've got three mountain, one electric stack field, Jaya's breeding, precision bolt, risk back to keep. Hopefully this is kind of an indication of what she's running. I hope, I hope, I hope. Okay, so she's got seven cards. I got seven cards. She mul or mulligan down to six. I'm gonna drop this past the turn. Now, I do love how it seems like almost every opening hand I end up with electrostatic field. Each opponent discards a card and then puts the top card of the graveyard. Okay, sure. I'll give the risk factor because it was just attacking enemies. Mountain, Electrostatic Field. So this is not an indication of what she's running, just like this is not an indication of what I'm running. So I'm dealing with a black type of mill deck by the looks of things, or at least that's what she's done for me thus far. Put any number of target creature cards from the graveyard on top of the library and draw a card. Okay, so she's going to do the first thing she could draw a card. Mountain. So she's going to take 4 damage, 1 from the static, 1 from precision. Let's see. I don't really want to cast Risk Factor, but at the same time, I may have to. So we're seeing a Mardu deck. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to risk back, and we're going to discard one Jaya's Breeding. And 
And that is where it gets X out now because it's in the grave. So as you can see, every card in here has been purposefully chosen for the amount of damage it does versus the cost of it. Uh, so got paper passage. I think that comes into play tap still because she doesn't have four land. There we go. Now I hear a lot of or I hear a lot about Fatal Passage. Fatal Passage to me is just a great image of, uh, if I say it, um, Evolving Wilds. Okay, so... I've got a JS greeting. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna say it's again. He's gonna take my damage. Oh, we're gonna leave that right where it's at. And then we're gonna spectacle and burn that. Now that's what I love about this deck, the versatility. The ability to respond quickly to a given threat. Like her deck is Mardu, so it's running Spawn of Mayhem, it's running that new yep, Order of Midnight. A lot of shit can put you back or fast and in a hurry. That can't block, not that it really matters. Okay, so I drew into that. I'm gonna pause cast this. She's gonna take the point of damage regardless. I should have a choice here. Four, or the four. She took the four. Now the nice thing is, okay, she can take that. What this deck really misses is a way to feed off from my graveyard. But at the same time, it's kind of one of those things. Okay, so we're gonna risk back. We're gonna get rid of electric dominance. Now she can either A, take the four, or let me draw. And in her case, letting me draw may be more deadly than just taking the four points of damage. And that's kind of what she took. And there you go. Now I only won that while I was gonna win, but I won fast because of Spawn of Mayhem, which is, you know, hope it's a good thing. Okay, I'll take my XP, I'll take all my shit. Thank you, come again. Okay. So with that being said, I'd say this deck was pretty successful. And let's see. At gold rank to win a game, lose a game, win a game. So that's two out of three is really not that bad of a statistic. So that is my expose on speed burn. So let's take another look at speed burn. So we have four score spitter, four shock, four electrostatic field, four jazz greeting, four lava coil, two Chandra Acolyte of Flame, almost like four there, two light up the stage. Now normally I would run four, but as you can see it didn't really play too big of a hand. Excuse me guys, just a second. Sorry guys, my throat was getting like scratchy and foggy there. We ha I would normally run four light up the stage, but eh, it doesn't really make a difference in speed burn. I mean, it's great to, drink, to have two cards in the wing that I can play, but it's also a risk because if I play it too early, and let's say I draw into my electric dominance, dominances, or I draw into both of my Chandras at once, I'm only going to get one Chandra, and if that Chandra's gone, by the time it comes back around again, I'll have lost the second Chandra. So, it's it's a risk, but that's why I only play the two instead of the, th instead of the normal four. Three Precision Bolt, two Risk Factor. Normally, I would run four, but I don't have four. I have two. Four Skewer of the Critics. Three Slaying Fire. One J of Venerated Fire Mage. Two, three Electric Dominances. And 20 Mountains. I'm thinking about taking one Electric Dominance out. And putting in the full precision bolts. 
but that's probably going to be covered in another video. So that being said, guys, I want to thank you guys for stopping by and taking time out of your busy days to watch my video. If you guys liked the video, hit the like button below. Give me a shout out in the comment section below for any cards or misplays that you saw that would help this deck improve or help me improve. Also, if you like the content I'm providing, hit the subscribe button, big button below. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I go live. And I will catch you guys on my next upload.